As consumers, there's choices we make every day that really affect the environment. Of all the different green options before you, the most important choice, I believe, is what you eat. And certified organic foods are critical to your health, the environment's future, and our children's health and future. Not everyone can drive a, a hybrid or an electric vehicle. Not everyone can ride public transportation, but everyone can make choices about their food. This green movement is theoretically exploding, but the word organic seems to be getting lost in that shuffle. The more you know about how our conventional food systems work, the quicker you'll transition to purchasing certified organic products. Pesticides in conventional farming doesn't only affect the end user, so the consumers, you and I sitting at our dinner table, it actually really affects those that are applying the chemicals, the farmers, the people that are putting their hands in the soil and working the land. The chemical use is drifting onto neighbors' property and going into the groundwater as well, and we are genetically engineering uh, nature's plants for profit and for gain. You know, when, when I was farming conventionally, my children were young, they were little, and like little toddlers can be, you know, daddy gets home, so they'd, they'd come running out to, to greet dad. And uh, it was troublesome. I always thought about what chemicals, you know, do I have on my clothing? And was always very cautious with them to keep them away from me until I was able to change clothes, shower, and, and um, be clean, so to speak, for them. My name is Otto Cram, and I've been a farmer for 22 years. Organic to me means being able to farm with Mother Nature. It's just the peace of mind knowing that your employees are in a safer environment. The food that I'm producing, I know it's safe. When I first started farming, I was a conventional farmer. In conventional farming, people would be amazed at uh, how much input goes in that's of a synthetic nature. A lot of the chemicals used in conventional agriculture are toxic and persistent chemicals. They're meant to kill diseases and destroy weeds. And these are chemicals that we don't want in our water, we don't want in our air, and we don't want in our food. Organic is fundamentally based on the consumer's right to know how their food is grown and processed. It takes a lot of technology and an understanding of science to manage a sophisticated organic farm. I'm Myra Goodman, co-founder of Earthbound Farm. We started Earthbound Farm as a little raspberry farm with a little roadside stand. And now, 25 years later, we're the largest grower of organic produce in the country. And our mission is to transition as much land as we can out of conventional agricultural production into organic. Every year, we're farming 33,000 acres organically. And by doing that, we're avoiding the use of more than 10 million pounds of synthetic agricultural chemicals. Those are chemicals that we're keeping out of the environment and out of people's food. The larger the organic farm, the more immediate the environmental benefit is. I became an organic farmer in mid-1996. Uh, One of the differences in organic farming from conventional farming is that we'll plant beneficial plants to help us control insects. Like here we have a lissom and another blooming flower that will attract beneficial insects which help us control pests in our romaine. That helps us in that we don't have to use any uh, harsh chemicals to keep our lettuce clean, in turn being safer for our employees and in the end for our consumers when it ends up in the store and in your home. We're making a relationship of working with Mother Nature. We farm in a way that really respects nature. We're not trying to conquer nature and we're producing food that really protects people's health and protects the environment. The local food movement has taken off tremendously, which is great. Local is fabulous. But you also have to encourage those guys to be organic because if it's a conventional local farm, that's chemicals that are sprayed within your own community. Walk through those farmers markets and ask those farmers, turn your farm to organic farming, stop spraying pesticides and insecticides in your farm, and let them know that you prioritize not only local, but organic. The more people that know about the benefits of organic, 
the better our environment will be. And so ultimately, my daughter making one connection to pick one organic tomato could impact the quality of the planet. I'm Mara Lopez Nishida. I'm a mother and also a cancer survivor. In 2002, I was um, diagnosed with breast cancer, and after doing genetic testing, it was determined that I didn't have a genetic predisposition for it. It was either bad luck or my environment. When I was in the midst of treatment, it became very important for me to monitor everything I ate, especially when you have cancer, you have no control over the illness, but you have control over what you can eat. So I made a pact to eat only hormone-free animal protein and organic fruits and vegetables. Eating organic was probably the cornerstone of my recovery plan and now my life plan as I've been cancer free for seven years. It's really important to me that I teach my daughter the benefits of eating organic food because she's not always going to be eating in my kitchen. So did you want a green bean? Why don't you eat it? Is it good? I want to teach really her good. to have the skills to make the right choices about the right kind of food to eat. Our babies are born with 268 chemicals in their cord blood. How did that get there? How do we reduce that? How do we help them? Because my daughter understands the connection between the garden and the table, she knows what organic means. She knows that we don't add any pesticides or chemicals to the earth. She's developed a taste for foods that are healthy for her, and she's already at three years old making really sound choices. We're watching more and more parents understanding that this is my child. This is my child's one shot. Give them the happiest, healthiest, most prosperous life. I think that we all make tiny decisions daily, but all of them add up to big changes. I'm Amy Smart, and I always choose to eat organic. I believe in trying to keep people as healthy as possible. Kids lack nutrition these days. The obesity has gone up. There's so many, there's so many chemicals that we're being exposed to. You definitely have to educate these kids about what it takes to have a sustainable future. Right now, we're at the North Hollywood Organic Gardens, and um, it's simply gorgeous here. Well, we really wanted to bring kids back to nature and to bring more health into the community. You know, so many of the schools are just pavement. The whole program is to educate the kids about organic gardening, about growing fruit from the ground up, eating it, um, and then making healthier choices at home when they're with their family. It's amazing to see their personalities really blossom from just digging and planting and, and harvesting. You could hear facts for days in the schoolroom, but when you experience something, that's something that will always be with you, that you have as knowledge, that you have as wisdom to take into your life as an adult. To plant these seeds in these kids' heads now so that they can save our future is so important. I'm really glad our school has a garden. All the food here is organic, so you can just come here and you can have all the organic food you want. We don't put pesticides in our vegetables. Yeah. I think to create the food revolution, you need consumers that are looking for organic food. The consumers will ultimately make this whole system change. You do have the power to send a clear message to legislators, to manufacturers, that you're demanding organic food. That you are buying your environmental protection up front. Every time you choose an organic over a conventional food, you are making a choice, and that dollar is tipping the scales in a more positive light for organic. Let it become the conventional of the future. The land depends on it, our ecosystem depends on it, and the future of our children really depends on it. Probably the tomatoes, because normally I don't like them, but from here they're delicious. My favorite vegetable is watermelon. I mean, I mean, squash.
squash. I like chili and white platinum. They grow big and, and they're spicy and they're good. My favorite vegetable, I think tomato. Or is it a vegetable or a fruit? 